My name is Army Sergeant John Christopher Short. I was injured in March of 2005 when my vehicle hit two Egyptian anti-tank mines that were double stacked in southern Afghanistan. The blast resulted in loss of my right leg below the knee, loss of use of my left foot, loss of my olecranon process, my part of my right elbow, uh, spinal fractures, and a TBI. You know, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I was thinking I was going to go to law school, but uh, yeah, I just didn't have much direction there. Um, so after 9-11, I enlisted with two of my friends to go hunt Osama bin Laden. That was what we, we thought we wanted to do. When I got to my unit, I was Charlie Company, 2nd Battalion of the 5th Infantry. I love the, uh, the fraternity, the brotherhood. I mean, it was a family. We'd been on a, a few-day mission. My gunner was up there. We were creeping along, going slow. Uh, we had two engineers ahead of us clearing, and, you know, we, we ended up hitting an IED, and then it was kind of lights out for me. I came in and out of consciousness for a while, but it was a, a couple-month blur after, after that day. You know, laying in the hospital bed, kind of coming to the reality, like I've lost my leg, that, that took a lot. Uh, immediately, the, the worst issue was my the TBI. Couldn't take care of myself at all. I had to have nurses help me with everything. But I hit the ground running with my recovery. I spent a lot of time in occupational therapy working on the TBI. I had to learn how to read and write again. After, I forget how many surgeries, but close to 30 total. My uh, elbow, my right arm, we had 13 surgeries on that thing because it was fused. Now I have not a full range of motion, but I've got most of it back and I can, you know, I can still shoot a compound bow, so that's good. <laughs> I'm an avid outdoorsman. I uh, enjoy fishing, hunting, and any kind of water sport. You know, I've been a full-time single dad since 2018. My daughter is Caroline Elizabeth Short and she's 12. You know, she's my little mini-me in, in the form of a girl, though. Uh, I love Caroline's personality, her smile. She's just a sweet, charming kid. She cares about others, um, but she's also feisty. She doesn't put up with much. She reminds me of myself as a kid, you know? <laughs> so I first heard about Homes for Our Troops from a friend of mine. Uh, his name is Chad Rosansky. Chad called me after he'd been to a conference, and, you know, I didn't know anything about it beforehand, but he told me, you know, oh, you need to apply for this and filled out the application, got in contact with Mara, and, you know, here I am. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's pretty incredible. I'm actually currently renting an apartment, and it's, it's small, it's not accessible. You know, you get used to making do. You know, I can get by, I do well on my leg most of the time, and so I exert myself a lot more. The, the toll is taken is my left side, you know, my left knee is starting to have a lot of issues. At the end of the day, it is nice to be in a wheelchair and to be able to navigate a home, cook for my kid, do laundry, get into the shower, out of the wheelchair would just, I mean, <laughs> it, it would change everything, you know. Um, this usually doesn't happen, so. <laughs> You know, having this home would give, uh, golly, it would give Caroline an opportunity to uh, to be more of a kid because she helps me out with a lot, you know. Um, and me being more independent would allow her to do more, give her more time as a kid, you know, instead of helping out dad with so much, so. Having an accessible home, I would be uh, looking forward to all of it, too accessible kitchen, a laundry room, bathroom, all the bedrooms, hallways. It would just allow me to have more freedom. It would allow me to be more involved in my kid's life and probably focus on some things that I I enjoy doing more. Uh, I used to be a big golfer and I've kind of gotten back into golf since moving to Jupiter, but I would probably be able to play a little bit more with less strain on my knee. Homes for Our Troops is an amazing program. It gives veterans the opportunity to live in a mortgage-free home that's accessible and caters to all their needs. If someone were watching, considering being a donor, you have the opportunity to change a veteran's life and that family's life. we are given ability to uh, take charge of your life again, some independence and freedom, and you know, reinstill some of that fire that was in us once, and you would change a life.